now that we have built our PC, we'll go ahead and install the software onto it. So you want to just take your installing CD, insert it into the CD drive and restart your computer. You'll get this window up here. Once it finishes loading, you just have to select the keyboard that you're going to be using, the country you're in, and the language. And then you just click on next. Then you just have to click on install now because we're trying to install the software into the computer. Here you have to insert your product key, which is a set of numbers and letters which comes with your CD. So you can usually find it somewhere on the CD, yeah. Then if you accept the terms and you want to install this program, you just tick the accept terms and then click on next. From here, we're going to do a custom install because we're installing this onto a new computer. Now here's where things get uh, a bit tricky. If we have more than one drive in our computer, they'll both appear. And we want to select the SSD. Uh, SSDs will be labeled by the brand you have and it will say SSD. You'll understand which one it is. You just have to be careful. Then you click on next um, after you selected the SSD. You want to be sure it's on the SSD so your computer runs fast. Then you'll see everything is installing. Um, and then Windows will uh, want to restart after it installs onto all the stuff onto itself. Then you'll see the machine is getting ready to uh, restart. Restarting PC. And you just wait a few seconds. If Yeah. It doesn't take long. Then here we get to the personalizing of your computer. You just select the color and name your beast. Click on Use Express Settings because it's faster, unless you want to customize, I guess. Then here you uh, log on to your Windows account or you create a Windows account. Then you'll see your PC is getting ready. Installing apps. And then this is all automatic. And then here you go. Your machine is ready. Have fun.